Hey everyone, I'm Brad Nelson. Hey, Tom Ross. And you're watching the Versus series on StarCityGames.com. So today we're going to be playing a little bit of Modern in preparation for the Star City Games Tour stop in Charlotte this weekend. Uh, I'm going to be playing Caleb Schur's Affinity deck from the Players' Champs. It looks a pr little unique, and uh, uh, given this matchup, Tom asked me to play Affinity, and I usually play Galvanic Blasts and the generic version that has just been solidified in the format. But Caleb redefined it. He did really well at the Invitational. 2-1 at the Players' Champs, so this deck has a lot of wins behind it. So I thought that this is the version that I'd like to play. But this isn't uh, the day we're talking about Affinity. Mm -hmm. We've got a new deck in Modern, and that's usually not something that actually happens in this format. So Tom, tell us about Black Green Infect. So it's a deck that Gator Mage or Chris Manel won the Modern Mocks with. The Green Black uh, Infect, he correctly identified that Frex and Crusader is really good at the moment. Dodges Lightning Bolt, Path to Exile, and get through a lot of blockers, like even... Linger Thrall, Siege Rhinos, whatever. Um, it's a little bit worse, like cards like Plague Singer is a little bit worse than Blood Agent, but that's all right. Um, it gets more one drops in uh, Inquisition of Kozilek. So it has like 12 now, which gives the deck better starts. It has more like mid game and like longevity too with cards like Abrupt Decay. It's like better removal spells and discards, some interaction. It's not fast. It's incapable of winning on turn two without mutagenic growth, and it probably has less turn three wins, it has less plus fours like Groundswell and stuff. But it's a deck that uses Rancor very well, and I think Rancor is going to be good in like the upcoming modern season. Yeah, and we don't know what's really going to happen in a couple weeks. Now, we do have uh, the Charlotte Open this weekend, but past that, um, we have bannings, unbannings potentially coming up. But I don't think any of these cards are on the chopping block. No. So I do feel like this deck uh, will be able to be around. And it, it does make a lot of sense to slow down Affinity a little bit since it still has like the degenerate draws in the combo matchups. Uh, I remember playing Affinity in Pittsburgh uh, a couple months back. Infect. Or We're Infect, sorry. I played Infect in Pittsburgh, and I didn't have any mutagenic growth, so I wasn't able to go off on turn two either. And when you're in a combo matchup, a Plague Stinger and an Ink, uh, a Bladed Agent are pretty much the same card. Right. And so, but like cards like Abrupt Decay and Inquisition might be able to hold off those decks better than additional, uh, additional pump spells. Mm -hmm. Like you could flood on pump spells and still be dead on turn three, uh, if you're not fast enough against a deck like Storm or Gristle Shoal or something like that. So I do like the the slowing the infect down, letting uh, the pump spells do more mid-game damage, and they're still just as big of a threat. So I'm interested in the deck. I'm a little scared of what this deck's like against Affinity, but uh, we're not here to just put it up, put the deck up against its best matchup. We want to stress test it a little bit to yeah. see if it has something. In fact, used to be pretty good against Affinity. Cards like uh, Twisted Image used to get their Ornithopters, um... Signal Pass you had a uh, blue green version had main deck spell sky so it interrupts their cards like Galvanic Blast if they have them and uh, the modular part on on Arcbound Ravager and it also blocks uh, S Champion we don't have those cards um I think this I think Frex Crusader is going to be at its worst here but if it's successful then I think then this could be a real deck because yeah. you got to be able to beat uh, Affinity which it's, no matter what almost always has a higher than 50% uh, win percentage against the field. And it's a deck that you see in every single top eight. So if the deck can't beat Affinity, um, or at least be tuned to do so, uh, it probably won't see a home. But again, this deck doesn't seem like it needs a ton of cyborg cards for other matchups specifically. So we're able to invest a lot into this matchup. And after cyborg, have roughly 10 to even 11 removal spells in the matchup that actually are just kill something that's on the board. So I'm excited to play the matchup. Let's give it a shot, and then we'll talk about the deck afterwards to see how it actually functions, because I have not seen this deck in action yet, so I'm pretty interested. So my hand is slow. I have uh, a two-drop and stuff to, to do. thing is, I can't cast two green spells on turn two, or turn three, after the Plague Stinger unless I draw another one, another land. Yeah. If I and draw something like a Twilight Mire, I might just go off. Well, I am going to go off, and I, I did win the die roll. Uh, it was off camera. Tom rolled three ones in a, in a high roll of three dice, so uh, off to a good start. Uh, flow average. I'm going to take a free one. I'm going to get my peak on the, uh, oh, okay. the worst possible. <laughs> so while he shovels up, I'll talk about mine. My, my initial hand only had Mox all pulls, and even though this is a little bit, uh, like, looks that it doesn't have a lot of potential. We do have turn one Overseer, so that can generate a lot, but I'll, I'll get my Scry on, and that is definitely going to the bottom. I think it's keepable. 
don't, I can't play a Tyrek on one. That's a factor of these swamps I don't quite in love with yet. As I look, what's it do? Next turn, turn two, I can go Swamp Tyrek, this, that. Yeah, I think it's fine. All right. I'll lead things off with a Swamp, which you don't see in a lot of Affinity decks. A Mox Opal, a Welding Jar, a Memnite, and then I'll play a Still Overseer. And my game plan has been revealed. <laughs> your turn. I'm gonna die. Do you have a thought cast in your hand? I do not. <laughs> All right, Inquisition. All right, <laughs> that's champion down. Okay, go. Can I regenerate that? Is that how? Is that how that works? Ooh. <laughs> Oh, no, I'm dead. The affinity is just such a. I did this exact same thing against Todd last time we did modern videos in here, where I just like hit you for two. Ooh. Just had turn one guy plus still overseer. Your turn. Hmm. I try to sculpt a turn four to live. I think I can. Yep. Okay. All right. Untap. Draw. I'll just throw an Ornithopter into play, add more counters. So you're going to end up taking uh, six this turn, and then you may go. All right. But live. Go. All right. Hit me for I like how well. Welding Jar just doesn't really work against Frixian Crusader. No. <laughs> Alright, well, I'm going to attack. Uh, let's see here. So, I'm not going to lie. If we played one game before the video and I got blown out by a Vines of the Past one. Oh, and, no. And so, I'm not going to let that happen. Um... That's my only way to win. <laughs> All right, <laughs> Jack. Um, I can hold this back to block the Ink Moth in case that's lethal. And there's no attack that is lethal this turn, right? Because these are... This is seven or uh, six. And that this gets blocked. But... This has to be blocked, so yeah, I'm going to attack with these two. Do I have to block that Ravager? Uh, yes. I think so. so well, let's just find out. So this, 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 they'll both be four, and then I can sack, 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 and so it'll be twelve. Dang. All right, I think I'm. I just blocked it. All right, so I will pump this up, and I will move to. Do I have to do something for? for do I have to let first strike resolve. Yeah. I think I do. What is this for? It's still 12, okay. Yep. First strike resolves then. Um, yeah, I'll pass party for first strike. I guess I'll keep my guy alive with that. Your Ravager's not going to die at the moment. <laughs> um, so one, two, three, four, that's six. Sack, that's ten, so I'm still missing two damage. Uh, and to kill his guy, I would have to sack all of these which I don't want to do do I? no I could sack all of these but that that's just stupid alright yep oh wait no it's only four right hmm? this is a sorcery so I could sack two things and kill your guy right? yeah okay yeah I'll sack two things alright Good. and your turn should just let me kill you. <laughs> Two, four. Eight. Four. I mean, I would have let you embarrass me like you did 20 minutes ago, but I've done enough embarrassing myself on camera in the last month. 
Okay, cool. Uh, just these still? Because I want. I, I, just like one or two spells just kills me. I guess two spells, but th what will have to be blocked. This has to be blocked. If I attack with this, something else has to be blocked, so you would lose both of these creatures. And then you could still have land plus two spells and kill me. So. But it'd have to be vine, so I think I can just. Mm. Guess if I just attack with all these, I, you have to have two blocks. Alright, I'll just do that. What? Uh, oh, wait, that's. It's that's still eight, eight, yeah. Dang. Wish there was one less. Those one less, I just block like that. Uh, this one is dead. I probably need to get encounters off something. Maybe kill something. I think I can do either. Alright. Yeah, fine. I'll keep it this. Alright, I'll sack and then I guess the coast is clear to sack this and go there. Is it? I think so, right? Alright, well done. Yeah. Alright, yeah, we're here for game two. I have a turn one noble hierarch. I have to get a overgrown tomb of Misty Rainforest, but that should be alright. I'm on the play. Alright, I I had to mulligan a Mox Opal only hand, but I'm praying this is a Mox Opal. It's not, but it does seem... I never know what to do with cards like this because it's it's another slow card, so I feel like I should bottom this looking for another early game card. Yeah, I'm going to do that. It's probably wrong, but we have all these like ways to gain a bunch of card advantage in this version, so... That's a that's a good card too. I'm at seventeen life over here. Alright. That's my start. <laughs> I might be attacking you for one here. We'll see. Welding jar is something. Oh, Inquisition, yeah. Oh no, I might not even get to start the game. <laughs> I don't know what these cards are doing here. Take this, greedily take this signal piss. Alright, Jake, I'm greedy. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> Whack. Alright, 19. Go. Uh, go. <laughs> hmm, if you cast something, you'd have died. <laughs> really? Don't I still die? Now that you didn't cast something, you're not dead. How is that? I don't know how that works. <laughs> I need another Karma Graveyard for coming in. Oh. No way I'm missing this, am I? Wait, I still don't get how that works. Hmm. Very curious. I'm still probably dead. <laughs> I do not have a blocker for an ink mop. Let, I, me, let me get this I ready. Did I this and I cast his might. Now I'm a card short. So I see for six. Could you have cast something last turn to dismember? If you cast something last turn, I would have dismembered it and had my oh, card yep. in the graveyard. All right, cool. Well, all right. <laughs> Go. <laughs> Whatever, dismember it. All right. And then you have to become immense. I don't know what I'm at, like three or something. Yeah. <laughs> Man, this card is not good against you. <laughs> I guess you have a Brupticase. Yeah, I did have one. Yeah. All right, we're here for sideboarding. 
I'm gonna be on the draw for this game. I think Inquisition's pretty bad on the draw against uh, Affinity. Unless I can get turn one, it's a bad top deck any point after that. Uh, I thought I saw a bunch of thought cast that could often be the last card in his hand. But uh, on the play, I might side him back in. Um, Phyrexian Crusader is pretty weak against a deck that doesn't have white or red spells. I mean, he's bringing in uh, like these cards, but uh, still, it's pretty pretty weak. And I'm also bringing in another three drop in Veered and Corruptor. Um, this member just costs too much life. If he comes out very fast, then it's going to be hard to spend four life on it, even though I do have some black mana to to filter through it. Um, taking out Pump Spell usually. It's pretty common that you take out some number of pump spells in any matchup. The, the games tend to go a little bit slower, and th the main way for somebody to beat you with uh, when you're playing Infect is for them to stick you with a bunch of pump, pump spells in your hand and kill all your creatures. Uh, Dried Arbor, this is not the matchup for it. He's even bringing ways to ping him. And, yeah, I'm just kind of loading up on artifact removal. I, I wouldn't leave home without Four Nature's Claim in any Infect deck. They're just good against... Affinity and this random stuff like, you know, there's some Tron pieces. Everybody has spell guides after board and, you know, maybe some might control but like a lantern control deck or something. A uh, spell guide is mediocre. We'll stop his grids. Um, still stop the modular part on Arcbound Ravager, even though I wouldn't actually get the counters. But and it's another blocker for S Champ if he has it. It's just a, a card to gain gain some life. And the Doom Blade is just a kind of an upgrade to dismember, I guess. Over on my side, we're going to take all these Memnites out. Usually, uh, now this is this is coming from my experience with like the old, outdated version of Affinity, where you only have like one Thoughtcast, where I board out the Thoughtcast a lot, uh, and that they usually only have two Memnites. So I am going, tr trying to make the deck more my speed when I play it, uh, which is not have that many Thoughtcasts, not have any Memnites in matchups like this, and then taking out the card that I, I do understand to take out, which is S Champion, since it's not blocking anything with flying. Uh, these games, uh, like Tom said, he'll have spell skites. I'm not going to be able to probably keep anything on it, like uh, a Ratchet Bomb, or not Ratchet Bomb, um, what's it called? Uh, cranial Plating. And so what I'm looking for is small pieces of removal, good ways to protect my more important permanents or stop him from comboing, and co really high impact cards like Aether Grid. Uh, these Hangerbot Walkers also seem really good against his deck since he has so much removal that uh, this is going to be target number one. He'll he'll have to kill it the turn I play it since it's going to uh, threaten so much value later in the game. And I'll keep the deck the same as before. Maybe I'm supposed to like take out some of this card actually. Uh, still Overseer, I guess Still Overseer has a target on its head. It has to be dealt with. Uh, on mm -hmm. the play, I'll have all my Still Overseers. On the draw, I might not. But this is what I'm going to do. All right. All right. Well, don't say I don't have a game plan. <laughs> All right. I don't, I'm, not, I'm not even going to say anything about my hand because it's great. I don't have a game plan. All right. <laughs> I'll start it off with the pest. Oh. All right. Um. right. I'll go to 17 and think about what's what I'm about to do. Oh no! I just real this is this might be the f we really screwed up in this versus video. We're both playing with the same creature collection sleeves. Huh? It's the, it's the new there. it's the new thing. We're all playing with the same. What could a plan be? This yeah. is a uh, gristle bear, grizzly brand. <laughs> it can go so many ways. So grizzly brand sleeves that you can get at game night. I do have a huge gristle brand in my room, so these are, I might have to start playing with these. Whatever. Yeah. All right. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> all right, I'm all in. What? Got a full house. <laughs> Go. <Ew. laughs> Okay. Am I interested in playing around anything? Probably not. <laughs> I do have a slaughter fact in my deck. True. <laughs> Bow cry each other. Oh, 
this feels foolish, but I'm going to do it. All right, I'll take three. Three Tom Ross tokens. <gasps> Interesting. All right, so we can either try to infect Tom, but infect doesn't seem like it's going to work since it's a slower clock because this is six damage, and either one of these is going to be four damage. So mm -hmm. uh, six plus four equals ten compared to six and four. So plus we just drew this. So we'll uh, animate this and attack... Am I just dead on the crack? I don't care. I don't think I win this game. <sighs> it's tr wait, it's trample. I can't beat it. All right. I'm at seven. Uh, yeah, you're at seven. Now I'll play another ink moth and go. Or blink moth. No, well, maybe I just killed you. I didn't have it. But yep, dead. Drew it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so. Uh, I'm here on the play again. I kept seven, and the only reason that it's not scary, given uh, this is one of our lands, is because we got our old hanger back, buddy. Um, and we might have to lead on that, since double removal spell could kill a land as well. We don't want to get two for one, but uh, I guess it depends what our first card is, but I'm going to keep the I kept. Yeah, and I bought my, my scry card. All right. I will just say go. Mm. I think I'm gonna have to shock no matter what soon. I guess I'll get forced in. Alright, dismember. Okay, dead. 16. Getting that off the board now. Alright, now that we drew that, I'm not afraid, and, and that's how Tom started the game. I'm not afraid of getting uh, removal, but we'll just we'll play a still overseer and his minions of zero twos. Alright. So I side this back in because I want a card that I can cast off Ink Moth Nexus, and I thought it was better than the Doom Blade. Uh, I'm at 17 now. Mm -hmm. I'm at 13. 13 now. Oh um, no, not another elf. Not another one of these. <laughs> I hate Affinity. <laughs> Go. Do I block? You won't get a 1-1. One, one. Huh? You will not get a 1-1 one, one if you block. Oh, yeah. A block. Sure. All right. This is negatives. These are positives. Yeah. Oh, no. Are there any better looking dice? No. Nah. Yeah, we should have, like, red ones for or black ones for negatives. Uh, Go. 12. This card's bad in the matchup. I didn't even think about that. <laughs> I'm boarding that out for next game. <laughs> All right. Oh, me, oh, my. Oh, wait, I should have played this. Sorry. Play Jesus. It. <laughs> yeah, I know. Block. Okay. Go. Put a counter. Whatever. No, le no. It was, it, it was a turn ago. Cranial plus a whip. What do I equip here? You have no cards. Nope. Oh, interesting. Uh, uh, no cards. You know these have zero power, right? Yes. I am bad at this. <laughs> these dice, I need I need different color dice. Yes, there's zero power. Attack. <laughs> okay, that's more reasonable. I need some design and stuff. I'll block that. All right, so you're going to take one? Yeah. All right, your turn. You're at 11. Uh, all right. 
No blocks. One. One Tom Ross. Go. Ooh. Hmm. Thuckest. Ooh. Punished again. This card is terror bad. Can move your plate, you know. Not bad. Yeah, I actually can just. How much damage would that be? If I moved it and animated this, I have one, two, three, four, five, six. So I could deal like five damage without any anything bad. Um, don't think I have to. Yeah, not going to use this this turn anyway. So I'll just equip an attack. Sucks. Probably have to block. Alright, block with this. Alright. And then I will move it over here and then say go. So all my ornithopters have negative one, negative one counters. Go. Put another counter on. Hang her back. Um. Hmm. Attack. No, I'm in the hard lock. <laughs> Uh, no reason to equip now. I can just do it at instant speed at any time. So go or pump. Attack. Block. All right. You have it's one done. card. Yep. Okay, he's trying to kill off my aerial assault. I think, but I have to let it happen. Equip. All right. All right. Go. Um. Equip. Play this and then attack. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Take it. Yeah, I can't can't get that last point of damage in with uh, leave myself vulnerable. All right, your turn. I'm dead. What'd you end up drawing? Just some lands. Yeah, Missy Rainforest, no targets in my deck. Okay, here for game five. I'm on the play. The whole question of what do I lead with? I think it's gonna be a uh, lesson off. Oh no. I don't want the beats to start soon. Okay, at least I have something. Oh, okay. So now I can do that since I have that draw. Ooh. The hard lock. Hmm. All right. <laughs> the blocker and and the protector. <laughs> ah, shoot. Do I mind putting two counters on spell sky? I don't think it really matters. I'll block. Okay, your turn. Huh. It's eight damage. All right, nine life. Your turn.
Hmm. I think here's a perfect situation why Creep Incursions could be actually pretty good in this deck. Yeah, it'd be good right now. I ain't gonna lie. Whack. I will... Alright, so what happens... I'm at... Okay, so... There's no... Besides a broke decay and a double ground swell, there's no real way to get me, so I'll just take it. Sweet. Uh, go. They're both lethal. They're both what? They're both lethal. They're both 10 powered. 10, jeez. Can I block one? Yeah. Block that. Okay. Warped K, that. I just claim that. In response, I'll redirect the nature's claim over here. No, nah, dog. No, no, <laughs> no, don't do me like this. <laughs> So now you take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You go to one. Yep. Go. Look at this stuff. No! I hate playing this matchup against you. <laughs> I'm just going to say that I feel that Infect is the worst deck ever printed, and <laughs> you skew all the results, because that doesn't happen to normal people, that game five. <laughs> yeah, that was fun having a lot of removal. <laughs> yeah, Not used to that I, with the Infect. Especially this balance of, like, pump and removal, because removal just kills people. Like, look, you hit me once, like one time before that, and you didn't even have to. Mm -hmm. You just found one spot in one game to just deal... 10 damage, and it didn't even take that many resources, and you're able to interact with me, and my draw was pretty good, and so it's just it's just so crazy how that deck's, like, adding the black, and even in a matchup where the reason that you're playing the black isn't really highlighted, which is Phyrexian Crusader, uh, that you could still just, like, pilot this way to actually just interact with me enough times and then find this window, because I don't think I screwed up. I don't think I was supposed to play that turn safer. No, you weren't. Yeah, it infects a deck that can just win on the spot with the the thinnest of windows. Um, the games that normally it plays out, it doesn't happen that way, but uh, this version can play out more of a longer and grindier and have a Frex and Crusader kind of unbeatable plan. And you don't have to play cards like Spell Skite and Apostle's Blessing anymore because the Crusader has natural protection and, and to some extent Inquisition, Inquisition of Kozlik also protection from the paths and the lightning bolts of the world. Yeah, it protects you from the removal. It protects you from their combo pieces. And just being, like, uh, a real race happens when you play, like, against Amulet Bloom, for example, which I think all of us are expecting a banning of that deck. I don't even think it's correct. Like, that's not for here for us to discuss. But, um, like, in that matchup, you usually have this hardcore race, but you have Inquisitions and Abrupt Decays to slow, slow them down. And my Inquisitions in Abrupt Decays out of, like, a Junk or an Obzon or a, or a Jun deck uh, buy me, like, a couple turns to set up a board that starts attacking them. You just kill them. Yeah. Like, they're just dead the next turn. Your cards are usually always reactive. Mine can be both. Like, I use them kind of reactive there and proactively, too, I guess. Mm -hmm. Just to get through, just to win well, the you, game. you did both. You, you literally dealt with enough permanence to where I put you at one, and then you use your cards for lethal. So, like... Yeah, it was it was very impressive. It kept you alive and killed me at the same time. Yeah. So that was unbelievable. Even um, if even if that window wasn't there, then I could have, you know, killed a spell sky, killed a plating here, maybe blocked another guy, made the game go longer and we could see how it go from there. Hope to rip a rancor here or there, just to finish it off. But yeah, so I think that the like Chris Fennell has something there and testing with Chris Fennell, for anyone that doesn't know anything about him, is exhausting because he will show up at like randomly and be like i got a deck idea all right so we're gonna need like four colors the mana's not gonna work at all but make it work and he'll just give us deck lists like here's my four fleece main four dissolve deck and he'll like write the deck list out and then it'll just say 25 lands 
You know, he, he won't give us mana bases. But when he has a good idea, like Phyrexian Crusader, it does look pretty strong. So uh, he's definitely my prove-it-to-me-first teammate before I, like, get invested. And uh, right now I'm kind of I'm kind of sold. So I, I, I'm it's worth looking into. Uh, definitely not going to be playing personally modern this weekend. Uh, instead, I'm going on the pro point hunt in Oakland. But a lot of people, I think you'll be there. Uh, maybe even yeah. playing this deck. Yeah, I'll be in Charlotte. Uh, by the time you watch this, the Cincinnati Open that's also modern has already happened, and this is the deck I'm most leaning towards. So depending on how Cincinnati goes, we'll determine if I play this in Charlotte yeah. or not. Yeah, um, and if you're in our neck of the woods down here, uh, please come to Charlotte and play in the modern Open. Uh, we have a new commentary crew yeah. actually doing it. We've got, uh, who do we got? Chris Van Meter and, and Andrew Boswell. It, it's it's pretty cool. I'm pretty excited about that that pairing. Um, uh, two people that we've heard from in the past, but not a lot from. I mean, a lot of people that watch the first video series know who Chris Van Meter is, but from a commentary standpoint, we do not. And so it's going to be exciting to see them. Uh, I know that they've been working to uh, make sure that they keep the legacy of Cedric and Patrick Sullivan alive. Um, and then, but uh, in a couple weeks, we do get to see uh, Patrick and Cedric back in the booth in Atlanta the week after the release of Oath of the Gatewatch, mm -hmm. which will be exciting as well. Um, but yeah, a lot of exciting magic coming up. Um, Modern's my biggest uh, thing outside of uh, Oakland since the Pro Tour is going to be Modern. We have bannings coming up in a couple weeks. So this is the format that uh, the spotlight's on right now. I'm really interested to see what happens. Um, yeah, I think these are both two good post-banning decks. Oh, for sure. Uh, no, no telling what's going to be banned. Some people think Stoneforge is coming back. Some people think uh, well, it has to part be, right? of Amulet Bloom is going to be banned. Like, Stoneforge has to come back. Like, I can't see them making a, a year-long Grand Prix foil only for fringe legacy decks. <laughs> like, yeah. it, I, I think it'll get unbanned, which it should because we've got Tazigers now. We've got Colgon's Commands. Uh, there's a lot of ways to deal with a batter skull. I do not think that batter skull Stoneforge is busted, and white has become the worst color in, in modern. It is just a splash for the good spells like Linger Souls, Path to Exile, Lightning Helix. Uh, that's pretty much it. Restoration Angel sometimes. So like the the color is by far the worst of the five. So they need to give it the power bombs that they ban from it. But anyway. <laughs> We've uh, held you up long enough. Uh, join us this weekend in Charlotte uh, for the SCG Tours stop for Charlotte's Open. That I'm going to get better at saying that. <laughs> uh, and uh, join us later this week with some more versus videos, articles, videos, all that jazz. And we'll be back next week, uh, hopefully trying to predict some new uh, standard. Standard decks, yeah. Most of the spoiler will be done by then, hopefully. Yeah. And we'll um, get to brewing. Yeah, we'll get to brewing <laughs> next week. So join us then for the standard portion of the Versus Video Series. Anyway, I've rambled enough. See you guys next time. Right, bye.